Okay, so all of these are the peritoneal organs and they're covered in serosa. The parietal serosa is the serosa that lines the cavity. You could also say parietal peritoneum and that's what I usually use. Um, the visceral serosa or the visceral peritoneum is what covers all of the organs and as you saw, um, there's some, it doesn't cover all of them. There are some that are retroperitoneal, so those would be like the kidneys, and the kidneys you see a little bit better on the caudal region, but they're this line on the mid, like ventral, or sorry, dorsal wall, the kidneys, and they're retroperitoneal, and caps part of the duodenum is retroperitoneal. And then mesenteries are just double folds of the um, parietal serosa or parietal peritoneum. So all of these are the mesenteries and those have names which we'll get to a little bit later. Um, and then for the pleuroperitoneal ca cavity and its contents, the abdominal pores you'll have to move part of the fins for. The abdominal pores are how the cavity communicates with the exterior, so if you could stick the probe all the way through, that's an abdominal pore, and then there would be also be one on this side. You can get the probe through, but there's one on this side as well. And so whenever you can see the probe all the way through, then that's an abdominal pore. And then the cloaca is how all the food and stuff comes out. And so mine's been cut here, but you know that you're in the cloaca if you could stick it through and see the intestines and you don't want to confuse it with other parts so like the sh uh, shirts um, entry to the sexual or organs and other parts and then for all of the visceral organs um, the biggest one you'll see is the liver and I cut my lobes off but you'll be able to see the lobes here and so you have the right lobe the median lobe and the left lobe here and you on the exam you'll need to refer to them by their name not just say liver because I'll take off for that and then the bile duct is how the bile um, goes from the liver to the intestines so mine's injected and it's yellow here and you could see that it or if you lift it up further you could see that it goes to the end of the intestine and then the esophagus, whenever you cut open the stomach, which the stomach would be here, and test the esophagus up here, you know that you're in the esophagus because you have these papillae right here. Um, in the stomach you have the rugae or these folds. So that's the esophagus, the stomach. And then at the end of the stomach you have the pylorus, this region. And it has the sphincter in it that prevents the backflow. And the valvular intestine or the spiral intestine is here. And it has the spiral valve in it. And then the spleen is going to be the triangular organ on the end or the curvature of the stomach. So this is the spleen. And you don't want to confuse it with the pancreas. Some people get those mixed up. This is the ventral lobe of the pancreas. And the dorsal lobe is underneath it. Here. And you know that this underside is the dorsal lobe because they both are connected. It's hard to see from here, but they're connected by an isthmus. And they also have their own duct, the pancreatic duct that drains the two that's underneath here. It's hard to see, but it goes to the intestines as well. And then the digitiform gland is the anal gland. And you can see it here. Um, it's just a little gland at the end. And then if you have a female shark, you'll, it, it'll, the gonads will be ovaries. So the ovaries are here, um, and then these are the oviducts on the side. And whenever you're trying to figure out if your shark is a female or male, the fastest way would just be to look outside 
I mean, I cut off my fins here, but it didn't have a clasper, so that's how you know on the outside that it's a female. If it's a male, it'd have the clasper, and then also if it's a male, it would have testes where the ovaries would be, and there would not be any oviducts, and there would be a spiral little cord that you would see coming from the testes, but that's not the case here. And then the kidney, once again, runs the length of the dorsal wall here. Um, because mine's a female, you can't see the arachnephric duct, but it's a duct that drains the kidneys, and it would be lateral, and it does have one, you just can't see it. But in the males, you'll see a curvy cord um, that's lateral to the kidneys, and that's the arachnephric duct, as well as part of its um, sexual organs. And that's it for the visceral organs.